Hello viewers, today we are going to be doing the initial checkout on a Uniden 900MHz digital spread spectrum telephone. Let's look at the information tag. Model EXS9960. Kind of an odd model. I don't see too many of these around. I actually got this phone probably about two years ago now and the handset had a failure with the buttons that was just not really repairable by any reasonable means and so I, I've been using the handset for parts but um, I recently found another handset for a whopping 99 cents which is this handset here and so I got it in hopes that perhaps it would work because uh, it would be nice to have a spread spectrum phone with with backlit buttons because all the ones I have don't have the backlit buttons and so using them outside is at night anyways is interesting um, so anyways this one's not in the greatest of cosmetic condition but I do have the front plate from the original one that didn't work so we'll put this on there instead if this ends up working now this um, it does seem to have some issues with the buttons see the lower buttons work fine um, but when you get up top here they don't work uh, with a reasonable amount of force talk works but again you have to hit it very hard normal I mean, I'm pressing it at a normal force, and it's not taken. Um, same thing with the rest of these buttons here. You gotta really, you gotta really press them to get it to come up. And even then, sometimes I can't get it to work. So I'm not sure if this is a. I know I've gotten it to come up once before, there we go. So, I'm not sure if this is a, a function of just being dirty or if there's something wrong with it. I'm hoping it's just a function of being dirty. Because if it is, then I'll just swap out this other keyboard I have. Although, actually, I'm looking at it more carefully now. This keyboard, I'm not sure if it's just yellowed or if it's not... I, I, um, if it's not supposed to be translucent, I don't know. I can't really tell. Anyways, so yeah, we have you know these, oops, these buttons down here work just fine. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at it, these are ever so slightly different models. See down here, we have intercom instead of setup. and then I guess the menu would be accessed by holding caller ID which is what normally is the case so this is a model 6680 base and so this handset is actually not original I mean well, it's not original it's not the one it's supposed to have although I, I, I think I think it's close enough that it won't matter but that's interesting. I didn't realize that until just now. Well, anyways, um, let's connect the phone line here and see if it wants to work. So it's not taking a page. Let's see what happens when we call it. Okay, it is ringing. We did get caller ID. Hello, hello, hello. hello. 
So it looks like the major important functions work, such as getting a call. Check. Check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. So that seems to work, even though it's a different model. So let's see if we can call out here. Check. One, two, three. So that seems to be working. The um, paging does not seem to work. I'm guessing that's because it's making an intercom call and while the original handset would have had an intercom capability, which you can see right there, this telephone does not have the intercom. Uh, but if that's the only compatibility issue we have, then um, that's fine with me. We've got a spare battery compartment here. Battery that's in here, I don't believe it's original. Nope, this is a replacement from 2008, so it's about 10 years old. I don't like these batteries. Very expensive to replace. Can't delete that number. All right, let's see what we got on the answer machine. Three, eight, one, no, not on the video. Um, let's go down to uh, two rings, and we'll do a new greeting. This is a new greeting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Leave a message or I will not call you back. Okay. Um, let's call it up and see if we can leave a message. I really wish it wasn't on call screening because call screening just causes a feedback freak show. Okay, it's released the line, so it looks like that recorded properly. You have one new message. I really wish it wasn't on call screening because Call screening just calls a feedback freak show. Okay, let's uh, do a voice memo here. Test message number one. Test message number four. You have two. Test message. Eight zero. We're certainly not going to keep it on eight zero. Friday, ten forty-three p.m. It is actually Friday, but it's not quite ten forty-three, and that just doesn't work. You have. You have. You have no messages. You have no messages. All right, let's make a call out here on the speakerphone. Oops, made a typo. This 
says mute, which is kind of cool. Good evening. Friends don't accept credit cards, which is why we offer person-to-person -person pay. People get to bank it. Member FDIC. Today is Friday, April 20th. People's United Bank time. 727. Current temperature 60 degrees. Mostly sunny today. Mostly clear. This evening lows in the mid 30s. Sunny on Saturday. Highs in the upper 50s. Let's see. This should switch over to the handset. Unless auto talk isn't on. There we go. Okay, maybe it just doesn't do that. Huh. Okay. Well, aside from not having the fine handset or intercom functionality, it seems to work fine. So, we'll get this opened up and see if I can fix the buttons. <sighs> and then this should otherwise be a usable, somewhat mismatched telephone.